The next thing that we're going to be looking at are model observers. So if I just go into my database and look at the users table, you'll see that I've truncated this just to clear all the records. Now if we go to our editor and I look at my roots file, I've also created two roots here. Let's just tidy that up. We have a create root, which just creates a user using the eloquent ORM. And then we have update, which does the same thing, except it updates instead of creates. Now we already learned about events and how we can trigger events like this. Event trigger user.saved and then we could pass in the user maybe. But what Laravel does is it creates these events automatically so we don't have to trigger them every time we update or create something. So if we just get rid of this, I'm going to go to my Acme directory and create a new folder called Observer. Inside of here, I'm going to create a file called user.php. We're going to have the namespace Acme Observer. And then we're going to have class user observer. And now what we can do is we can say, for example, public function saved. And here we take the model. And in this case, we'll just echo saved. So now what we have to do is we have to register this observer. So back in our roots file, I'm just going to say up here, Typically, this would be done in a service provider or in some other file, but for, to save time, we're just going to do it in the roots file. So, user observe Acme observer user. So, when we go to our browser, go to create. Oh, okay. So, here we need to pass an object, not, not a class name. So, hit refresh, and we named this wrong. Uh, okay, so just call this user. Hit refresh one more time, and there we go. If we look in that database, the user is there, and we also get this message here. Now we also have saving. So we'll just echo saving. And if we hit refresh again, you'll see we get the same result. And we also have things like update, uh, sorry, updating or updated. And you can view a full list of them in the Laravel docs here. We're not going to we're not going to go through them all because we'll be here forever. But you can see here we have creating, updating, saving, we have saved. And they can be really useful if used correctly. So do take the time to take a look at them.